the residents of Gordon Plaza are fighting against silent violence. In 1909, the city of New Orleans opened the Agriculture Street Landfill in the Upper Ninth Ward. As the population of New Orleans grew during the 20th century, so did the amount of toxic trash in the landfill, along with numerous residents who began to live alongside the landfill. Following resident protest and legal and political action, the landfill finally closed in 1958. The city immediately began discussing plans to redevelop the site to accommodate low-income housing. In 1965, following Hurricane Betsy, the dump was temporarily reopened to accept the massive amounts of debris left over from the storm. Deadly lead and arsenic made their way into the landfill. In 1978, following the plans of Mayors Moon Landu and Ernest Morial, the construction of a new neighborhood began on the former site of the Agriculture Street landfill. The city supported the construction of Gordon Plaza, a housing development including single-family homes and apartments for low-income and elderly families. By 1981, families began moving into the homes at Gordon Plaza. A vibrant community quickly formed. By 1985, anxiety arose concerning hazardous chemicals within the soil of Gordon Plaza. As residents began unearthing trash and toxic chemicals in their backyards, their concerns continued to grow. The Environmental Protection Agency, or the EPA, declared Gordon Plaza a Superfund site, a term used to describe areas deemed by the federal government as toxic to human life. Residents hoped the government would relocate them from the toxic neighborhood. However, the EPA only removed a portion of the toxic soil, covered some areas with matting, and added only one foot of topsoil to separate residents from the toxic land. In 2005, flooding resulting from Hurricane Katrina wiped away that topsoil. Residents now had to repair their flooded homes atop toxic soil while being denied federal aid since their neighborhood was deemed a Superfund site. In 1994, residents of Gordon Plaza and the surrounding area filed their first class action lawsuit against the city of New Orleans, the Orleans Parish School Board, and two construction companies who knowingly built their homes in this contaminated area. Since that time, the residents have continually battled against city officials, fighting towards the goal of fully funded relocation. Various activist groups, such as the New Orleans People's Assembly, have actively fought for residents of Gordon Plaza and towards their goals of relocation. But their fight continues. As of the writing of this essay, the residents of Gordon Plaza have still not achieved justice.